Hello everyone. This is Jacqueline, JW Van Minimal. I am again behind the camera and I'm just panning up a little bit to show my little purse collection that I have of uh, some of my favorite pieces. Uh, it's not part of the haul. <laughs> but I'm just doing a little bragging because uh, I'm either going to keep these purses. Well, the black one I do use is sort of my uh, bag that I use if I'm going to like dress up. I forgot the name of it. New York something. And then the two little ones. See if I can get a clearer. There we go. Um, those are porcelain. I think they're actually trinket boxes, but they're like purses. Now, I probably will be selling those and then the green one is just a cute little number that i don't know it's asian inspired um i like the coloring of it so i might keep it just for like a art piece and then the pink one i thought was awesome because when i was in jamaica quite a few years ago i bought this gorgeous gorgeous green purse i'm still like live it over how I lost it, misplaced it. I don't know what between me moving from one place to the other. Uh, for some reason, anyway, it was that color green, but it was embroidered like that pink one. It was so gorgeous. I had it more like an art piece. I don't think I would have like worn it unless I was like, I don't know, trying to show off or something, but I just felt that I wanted to redeem my loss. <laughs> and then this purse here, um, I thought was cute. It's, uh, I don't know if I could get a close up. It's like plastic. Uh oh, you know, I have, sorry, I almost had a big accident there. I have my, uh, sliding door here. Let me see if I could get back a little bit. There we go. I have my sliding door here because it's in my way as I'm making my clothes and I put it there and then I hung my purses on it. So every once in a while, if I'm manipulating things too much, I almost pulled the door down on me. And I thought I put it up in a way that it wouldn't fall. But anyway, I was talking about this beautiful purse. Uh, I thought it was beautiful. It's like plastic something. And I was trying to get a close-up of it so you guys can help me figure it out. Now that too, again, is a purse. I'm not sure... I would use it. It depends because I don't go out and we really don't go out these days. But I mean, I, I would only wear it to like a function or a meeting and those are not happening anymore. So today, though, I am going to share a mini haul. So all of this, that was filler. <laughs> so I can at least have a five minute video. Um, Jacqueline J.W. Vet Minimal behind the camera. And then... Just to remind you to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you. And um, yes, like, comment, share, but definitely subscribe. So uh, I went the other day. I have several videos of me like shopping at, I think I went to Goodwill first and then I just stopped at the St. Vincent de Paul because it was it's close in the vicinity of the Goodwill, it was closing like in 30 minutes and I rushed over there. You'll see the video. And the only thing I ended up picking up, and I'll start with that at the St. Vincent de Paul, was this beautiful, you guys seen it in the video, but this beautiful, it says Key Lime Coolers. It's a 10, but you see the um, texture there. Isn't that cool? And on the side as well. I was trying to get a date. Um, I was trying to get a date. Oh, sorry for the glare, you guys. I got my camera light on. Um, it's This company actually was um, established in 1924. Now, of course, this tin isn't from 1924, but uh, I can't date it. I'm going to actually, like, you know, peel the paper off and I always sanitize stuff. Like I've been touching everything without cleaning it, but I'm definitely going to be sanitizing it, um, washing my hands and not just because of the pandemic situation, but, uh, just to clean it up. Right. Uh, so this was the only thing that I got from St. Vincent de Paul, but I thought it was beautiful. 
I love that color and I have yet to think of what it is um, I'm going to do with it, but it's called Key Lime Coolers Bird Cookie Company. But look at that graphic. It does not get any more beautiful than that. So that was one item. Actually, let me put it down in this basket. I think I mentioned I had bought a basket from somewhere. I think I paid a buck for it. Maybe it was at the ReStore. And it's already been cleaned and sanitized and everything. And I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it. I am keeping it. I just haven't decided what I'm going to do with it. And then uh, you saw I was at the Goodwill. So the rest of this is from these items here. Is from the Goodwill haul uh, where I showed the video where I said I'd go back to for things. So these came from that. And then I wanted to show a couple of things that I left out the last time when I did my office tour. Um, these actually all I think came from the Goodwill. I have to double check. But I'll talk about those in a minute. So the last thing that I picked up when I was walking out. Actually uh, pushing my cart to the checkout was this. And I looked at it because of the um, graphic. Let me take the top off. And when I picked it up, I thought it was just a box because I am kind of as obsessed with tins and boxes and trinket boxes and vessels and things like that, which will be the main purpose of some of the things I sell, um, that I um, resell. But I picked it up because I thought it was a box and then it was heavy. I'm like, what the heck is this? So... I opened it after I picked it up and it is a box full of coasters and let me manipulate that and they are gorgeous now they are made in China plain and simple but look at how beautiful those graphics are and then this box is, is um, it's not a composite but it's very you know it's a strong box it's not wood and as you can see, this is Ceramic Coasters, Renee Cherise Jardin. Um, so I'll have to look up all that stuff. Um, and they have the four different designs. Let me gently put them in there. But I thought those were very cool. So that was the last thing I grabbed walking out with my cart with the uh, few things that I got today. Not today, but... Whatever day, it was um, yesterday or the day before is when I went to the store. Um, and then you guys saw in the previous video that I had said I was going to come back and take a closer look at this. Of course, you guys know what it is. It is, you know, I haven't, I didn't take the tape off first and foremost, just to make sure. I did check to make sure there were no cracks or any um, imperfections or anything happening with it this is is dirty as well I have to clean it and as you can see I don't know if you could tell like some of the flashing is coming off it's probably why they put um, scotchy type tape but that doesn't help I got to take this off uh, because you know it's kind of destroying the exterior of the glass so I got this little number here. Take all the tape off. Just do it. And isn't that beautiful? And then there's, there it is opened up. Let's see. See, like right there in the middle, you see a little bit of the flashing coming off. But it doesn't matter. Such a beautiful piece. And... I will be putting that up for sale. The next thing, oh goodness, I've gotten myself into a tape frenzy here. I feel like one of those cats that get their heads stuck in a can or something. All right. Uh, next was this little number. And this was on the end cap. I thought it was beautiful. Made in India, brass. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it at the moment. Um, I should take the sticker off to see what I may have taken it off before. I try to keep the stickers on until I like write everything down, but 
here's the bottom. I have my camera light on so I can see better because it's very late at night. I thought this was cool. And it's not showing up as nice because of lighting. I don't have a ring light on. I just have like all the lights on I could spare and the camera light. But it's very bright, vibrant and it's very beautiful. So let me just put these things down here because they're not going to stay on this table. They have, this is telling me I have to like do something with them, like clean them and stuff like that. So do that. And then the next thing I have is this little amber number here. Um, I think I mentioned in the previous video that I have something similar and I checked my inventory and some things are packed in boxes and some things are on my little shelf. So the thing on my shelf actually is a coin glass just like this one, but it's clear. But I know I have another one of these. So I'm going to figure out like I might put some things in sets. I'm not sure yet. Still working on it. And then this little jazzy piece. Uh, I'm going to take a closer look at his ears. And, I don't know, it's just a little bit of something going on there. Now, when I picked this up, I actually got it as just a piece that I would keep, maybe. Like, and then I'm looking at this ear, his ear problem. That ear infection he's got there. But I'm going to decide. I mean, it's not horrible. It's a handcrafted piece. And I thought it was really neat because I do have a couple of wood items that when I do some of my other hauls, you'll be able to see I have a um, whale or a porpoise or something. And then I showed you the lady from the other day. So I have to figure out what to do with him. But I might keep it and it might go on my altar is what I'm trying to say. The other thing that I forgot to mention the other day when I did my little office tour was this cute box. I I haven't cleaned it yet because it was sitting on my printer and I totally forgot about it. But it's got this little, now this is not what it looks like, stone or whatever. It seemed like it might be some form of resin or plastic, but it's cute. You can't tell. This box, I'm pretty sure, is wood. And again, this one, I'm not too sure. I picked it up because I thought it was very interesting and it's something that I can live with, like I can utilize. Remember that uh, I am trying to be go minimal. So the things that I pick up are things that I'm going to physically use. So that's why I have to continue to think about. Now, I gave you a flash look at this uh, the other day. This is a wooden piece. I thought it was so cool, so pretty. I want to show you the back. It's just a wooden piece that somebody painted on. I have another one too. I don't know what happened to it. But um, so these will be for sale, even though I wouldn't have a problem with hanging this somewhere in my house, but I have nowhere to hang it. I have a very small studio apartment. There's the artist. I have no idea who they are, but just the fact of that, I just really like stuff like this. This is really cool to me. And then this little piece right here. Now this one, you know, there's the artist's name there. I don't know if this is an authentic piece. I think it might be, but it could have been like, you know, when you go traveling and you're a tourist somewhere, because this says on the back, Echo in Mexico somewhere. Where is it? Uh, well, they talk about the oak frame. Let me just turn it around for you. And see, Echo in Mexico. And I guess they're saying this is oak, but I really wanted to show you the um, the framing and the canvas and how it's put on. 
and that it's a painting, a real one. <laughs> and, you know, I don't know if the framing was in Mexico, if the Mex if the person who painted it, who who name is Bird, is the artist, if it's some kind of um, you know, not fake, but somebody doing something of somebody else's, I don't know. Something I'll look up, but I thought it was very neat. Now, this particular piece I am going to consider keeping. Again, I really don't have space on my walls, uh, on my place, um, because I'm in a studio. I do have wall space, but I'm not a put things on the wall type of person. So if I keep it, I might like sit it up on something like a desk or a table somewhere. I'm not sure yet, but right now, uh, I think I'm going to keep this one. All right. So that's what I have. That's my haul from the other day. It was only a few things. I think I paid a total of $7 and something, um, excluding the things that I forgot to show you the last time I did my office tour. So that's it. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate you. This is Jacqueline, JW Van Minimal. Uh, subscribe to my channel and comment. I'd appreciate that. See you on the other side.